to Mendeley video course. You are watching video number 21, how to handle journal abbreviations. One of the common rules most journals follow is that the name of the journals in the bibliography should appear in the standard abbreviated form and not in full. For example, the standard abbreviation of the journal Bulletin of the World Health Organization is Bull World Health Organ. While all the journals indexed in PubMed have standard abbreviations, those journals not PubMed indexed do not have standard abbreviations. In such instances, Mendeley tries to suggest an abbreviation intuitively, which of course may or may not be correct. It's important in such instances that we correct those. How do we do it? First, go to view in the menu bar, click on citation style, and if you see right at the end, you will find an option called journal abbreviations. Click on that. A new dialog box opens, which lists the name of the journals as well as the corresponding abbreviations. Now here we can choose find out if the abbreviation is correct or not and edit it. There are some other options as well we will explore in live demonstration. Now in Mendeley we go to view, citation style and journal abbreviations. Click on that. This is the new window we get abbreviations. Now here in the filter you can choose the entire list. So all the journals and their abbreviations, the entire list is available here. Or you can choose only publications in my library. Let's choose that for the time being. Let's have a look. So for example, I can already see something wrong here. BMJ Global Health, the abbreviation it says BMJ Globe Heal. I feel there may be some error here. So I can go to PubMed and search for the actual abbreviation, abbreviated form for this particular journal. And in the NLM catalog, when I search it, I see it's actually the abbreviation is BMJ Globe Health and not Globe Heal. So what I can do is go back and double click on this and say BMJ Globe Health. Now this gets fixed here and everywhere we cite this it is going to be properly cited. There are a few options here. Some of the journals may want you to cite the standard abbreviated forms but to include periods. So what we can do is in such instances click include periods and you can already see the periods have come in. The default is to use the abbreviated form in most citation styles but some journals want you to provide the full name of the journal rather than the, the default which is the abbreviated form. In such cases you can come here and select full journal name and then in your bibliography it will reflect accordingly as full journal name. These are the several options which are available. To summarize, in this video we have learnt how to handle journal abbreviations. Please note that the default is to display abbreviations. If you need to display the full journal name you have to choose it from the options and also note the feature of adding periods. In the next video, we are going to show you how to handle URLs in bibliography. Thanks for watching.